When storing grain, one of the really important things to do is to ensure that the quality of the grain is, is going to be what we need to outload. We obviously have receival standards with the nil tolerance to live insects, uh, which is what we need to meet when we outturn grain and deliver it to the silo or to the end user. So we need to be sure that when we um, outload grain that we know that's the specification we're going to meet. So there's various ways we can do that and there's a, there's a number of tools we can use to ensure that we know whether or not the grain is infested. And not only is that a good thing to do from the point of view of meeting that receival standard, but it also allows us to know what's the best way that we can manage an insect problem if we've got it. It's also um, a way that we give ourselves time to actually deal with the problem and then go and outload the grain free of insects. The process when we sample grain and then test it to see whether we have insects is one by which we either take grain from the top of the silo or we take some from out of the bottom of the silo and we sieve that into a, um, a, a plate underneath that sieve. Often that'll be a white plate so that identification is a little bit easier of the insects and any insects that will be in that grain will fall through the sieve and then we go through the process of looking at those individual insects and identifying them correctly. A great tool we can use to do that is the GRDC fact sheet which has a list of the key insect pests that we have in grain storage which we can refer to when we're looking at the insects we've got in that little plate that we've sieved out of the grain and identify them out as to which pests we have in that plate. Another way we can check is to push a temperature probe into the grain and just do some temperature sampling of the grain through the profile of that grain mass to the length of the sampling probe. That'll tell us that if there are rises in temperature that that can be a good indicator that we have an insect infestation perhaps in that spot that we're sampling or it could also mean that we might have a, a, an increase in mould growth or something like that. In gas tight storage sealed silos we can use phosphine to fumigate the grain or other fumigants that we might use. Just to recap the key points we've just discussed, to ensure we don't have any surprises at outloading we need to check our grain monthly. We need to be sure we identify our insects correctly so we can target the, the best control mechanism that we want to put in place. And we need to check from the top and the bottom of the silo and do that monthly again. And if we have anything that surprises us and we're not sure of what it is, get it checked and get it identified correctly. This has some great photos in the publication of the insect pests for identification. All of that information is also available on the GRDC Extension Project website www.storedgrain.com.au so it's good to start getting out there and checking our grain monthly, identifying any insects that we might find so that we're sure we can deliver a quality product to our end user.